I've never actually worked with like a director that was an actor, and you know, uh, it was kind of it's kind of weird at first because it's like you know he's such a known kind of actor and stuff, but he he uh, he's uh, it's great because he's he's actually like um, you know like a real kind of actor's director, someone who kind of understands an actor a lot better. And I guess it could sort of go either way where it's you know I mean, but with Steve it was great because he's. You know, really, I think he's a great director. I think, you know, he did a great job, and um, you know, he kind of he makes things a lot easier to understand than a lot of directors would, just by the fact that he is an actor, probably. Well, most of our stuff was done here at Holmesburg, which is like a shut-down prison, so. It wasn't really like being in a prison system, it was more like being in sort of hell or something because it's just so dilapidated and so like, you know, it's only been shut down for like, I think, five years or something and it just seems like it's been shut down for like 20 or something. And, um, you know, it's it's kind of it's, it's kind of haunting just kind of shooting in this place and we shot a little bit in like kind of working prisons or whatever and, um, that was pretty gnarly because when they had like lockdown and stuff, they'd bring a lot of prisoners in, and uh, like we'd be shooting, and all of a sudden, all the screaming would go on. And at one point, a guard chased a prisoner out, and you know, in the middle of a scene and stuff. I, I don't know. It was it's pretty wild. Well, I mean, you know, I was just. I think he was just pretty much your average guy, except you know, he did. I mean, he he sold pot and. Probably cocaine or whatever, but um, I don't know. I don't know if that's something that's really rare or anything like these days. Um, I think he was just kind of your basic like middle class kind of guy that you know had his own apartment and his own car and uh, you know just kind of the wrong things happened to him and he got bad luck and he got caught and went to prison and um you know then he was kind of like the small fish in prison you know he's kind of the you know new guy and was a little freaky dinky um, well it's like my first kind of real like you know straight up grown up character you know he kind of you know um you know it's a real kind of complicated character and he grows a lot, you know, he kind of starts off in the movie as, you know, just kind of a teenager and, you know, grows up and uh, kind of learns a lot about, you know, well, kind of finds himself later on in the film and, you know, I mean, that's kind of the most complicated character I've played because, in a lot of ways, because it's, you know, I've played a lot of characters where they still have their parents and you know, um, uh, I don't know, so I think it's, you know, I think it's different in that way. It's always nice, you know, when you can work with someone that kind of, you know, someone who actually knows, you know, what they're doing and, you know, <coughs> Willem definitely, like, falls in that, you know, line and, um, I've just been, I've been really lucky, like, in my career, I've been able to work with, like, really great people, and, and Willem definitely follows along that line of, you know, great actors who have been around a really long time, and, um, you can kind of learn a lot from them, and just kind of, uh, and then also he's a nice guy, he's, you know, really laid back, and we had fun.